Tesseract, and I'm part of the reason you lost your world. I was an architect of the invasion, as much as a slave to the elders can build anything. But I broke your world. You didn't know how to fight back, to think for yourselves. Well, you better start, or someone else will do it for you. And who will you blame this time, hmm? I'm Floyd Tesseract, and I'm here to show you why you should have believed. Interesting. He kind of painted a target on his back by saying that, too. Uh, because anybody... Ooh, I have a scar on him? I do. He's in training. Okay. Anybody who's against him is going to take that and latch on to it it's like if donald trump said openly said that he's a racist even though we already know what he is but that's kind of what it is anyways welcome back to the channel i'm king of Baden. uh i'm tired i just woke up so my voice sounds weird but we're back in xcom chimera squad i bought the other xcom games too so once i finish this playthrough i'll be doing that right afterwards and we have to do this mission now we really can't avoid it for this one although i do want this auto loader i can't really do anything about it because i can't freeze this district and i don't want to start building city anarchy just because i didn't get something now i'm really i'm not actually no i'm not torn i'm gonna get the i don't know if i want to get the targeting system to help out with like blue blood's aim overall that way he hits more often with his abilities or if i want to get the plated vest just so i can uh keep my team safer how about this if i go in here or not spending buying either of those and getting a new field team forces feel overwhelmed they may attempt to cut their losses in a spectacular fashion but they might destroy evidence or activate a bomb as you approach whatever the case stop them yeah that auto loader would be nice for uh blue blood but i don't think i can let this tick over anymore otherwise i'll start bit well no i know i can't because i'll start bidding the anarchy but also might not be that bad i'm really tempted but i think we should have time we should have an opportunity to buy it later so i do want to go ahead and get the armor plating though because we're still early in the mission and we get scars quite a bit so this plating will help prevent scars since we'll be taking less damage overall we have two submachine guns we have actually no if we get terminal we'll have three so maybe getting the upgrades to submachine guns will be good and like my own run i haven't done it because i don't have anyone who uses submachine guns so what i have is terminal so i don't have a point in actually rushing to get to those a blue buds pistol is definitely something to upgrade we'll give the extra padding to i think shelter with his teleporting around he seems to be he can end up open a lot to taking damage but that's the only thing we have new to give out Let's go ahead and launch this mission and see what we get into. This club used to be the heart of an alien trafficking operation. 3-1 PD never figured out who was behind it. Now Gray Phoenix is on site. We think they're here to clear out evidence of their connection. Don't let them. I heard about this place. 3-1 PD tried to trip them up, but they were careful. I keep almost skipping the the talking points forgetting that they're all different since we're playing in a different order so if you play the i think you can play the game like three times and get like 100 percent with each team because it's a slightly different story depending on where they show up at basically you see how long they've had to develop their plans and actually put them into motion we want defense password doesn't move either too much i tend to use her abilities more since she can um shock from a distance and it's guaranteed damage aim from an entrance shelter seems to be uh doesn't seem to be confident about his aim so i'll put him there blue blood has the highest aim for sure and i'll put him there mobility will always be good for her because she's actually i don't know why she just has high mobility i don't think she actually needs it i've noticed a slight difference in the sound that they jump in like it sounds like two feet for everybody else but then for for torque it's only one like slap i guess i don't want to say slap but it's like one thud yeah that's a better word it's only one thud for patchwork it didn't oh not patchwork yeah terminal nope torque there you go the two gremlin people and then i switched to the person who has a t name there it is i was waiting for it to switch over because i don't want it to glitch out of some a three Oops, didn't mean to shoot him, but oh well. 
the dominator is gonna have to go. Cause they're gonna be a problem later on. Is this a once permission? Enemy poison for two turns. Spits poison at the breach. I think it might only last uh it might only be a one time use type of thing. Maybe we could take this adder out right now though. Nope. Got a lot of ro low rolls on the damage. Is anybody close enough to get double shocked? No. No, they are not. We can take out the number two person anyways and keep the turns low. Marginal as always. Not have to worry about it too much. Um These adders like to run up and bite. They do it a lot in um in any playthrough really. Is this someone's permission? No, it has a three turn cooldown. Yeah, now we're gonna get both of them with this. But first we can start with Dead Eye. Uh Blue Blood takes a shot with does not in turn if used at the first as the first action. So who do we want to get? I think the paladin is gonna be someone we want to get rid of more. Alright, we still missed it though, so it doesn't matter. But we can still line this up on both of them. So we're still doing I think guaranteed damage. I don't think the shot misses. Yeah, so it's getting ooh. I think it's gonna where's the faceless? I didn't see that thing at all until I looked over there in the turn order. He's definitely gonna make it up to them. Hopefully you can't hit both of them with that one swing. Oh, or it doesn't swing at all. That's fine too. I'm not complaining. So now we have Soul Fire. Launch a psionic blast and organic enemy delaying their next turn. We don't have to do that necessarily. We could just use subdue on the number two person. Although that leaves us open to the number four. I think we can use Torque to get out there and knock them out too. And then focus all of our shots on the faceless once that's done. Shame you didn't resist. She seems to be like a submission expert, I guess. Because she likes to make sure people stay still. I guess it's that bind being a part of her personality, basically. Can I see this enemy from here? I can. They're pretty close too, so I have a high chance to crit. It's a good thing these these things don't have a retaliatory retaliatory retaliation type of thing, like the berserker or the um, what is it? Can't remember its name. It's in this faction though. The ones that like gain armor every time they take damage. The what is it called? Kind of Praetorian. Actual, original, non -euphemistic VIPs. First unit through his entrance is guaranteed to land the shot. Last unit does plus three damage. We'll have blue blood coming last then. Have shelter. Do we need to heal? I don't think we took too much damage. So I'll save that for the last uh, like encounter. This. I don't see how she's scanning through this wall. I don't know what that thing is supposed to be. You would expect the breach point to open, then the thing to fly in, but it never has. It's always before it's opened up, it's already doing its thing. We don't all need to shoot at them. Go for this trooper and just try and take them out immediately. I should get more AP rounds too, because those are very useful. Yeah, I figured he was going to get a low roll on something. And you have plus three damage. Where's that faceless at? Because you might be able to take this out completely right here. Is what I yeah, is what, that's why I saved his shot for last. Or saved shooting at the faceless. I was hoping that he'd be able to one shot it and just make it that simple, which is pretty good too. Soon we'll be seeing what the faceless actually came from. Cause I remember them being way oh, there's another one. I remember them being way scarier, uh like 
when I watched other games. I can't remember what they did though. We have to get the VIP. I want to get into this room and the number two guys also in here. So I just use some do on them. We're definitely getting the bonus intel from taking hostages this time. Or arresting people. I think I think the right term is to say that we arrested them. Target is under arrest. And the VIP just ran to us. Interesting. It says there's a hostage taker. Some oh, I did not put her in good cover for that. Not at all. That's all I mean. Stop the hostage taker. It never assigned a hostage taker though. We just had a hostage. Um, could relocate with the enemy, which also pushed the turn further back in the order. Although it looks like it's just gonna go down one since it's already last. And I'll use soul fire on them. That way their uh, turn order, they get pushed back in the turn order again. Delaying. Oh, so he's like he's just like delaying, or at least the way I have him set up. He's good at delaying enemies' uh, turns. From here, he can't really see anything though, so I could just Overwatch. And it looks like he does have an angle if he walks out and go towards goes towards shelter. He used tongue pull to move him back. Is this someone's permission? No, he turned cool down. Go on, take a deep breath. This way, if this thing walks out, it will be poison, and that'll start. That'll help to negate its um healing. They're also going to Overwatch over this door. Interesting. See, they're gonna have to go through or just stay mingling around in there. Yeah, just stay mingling. Just interesting. So I can move to. Maybe I'll have an angle from right here. Nope. Because that thing. Yeah. I probably should have gone to this side and saw if I had an angle. I guess I'll just overwatch this direction again. This thing's probably not going to leave the room since we're playing on a higher difficulty. It's just. It's not just going to run through uh, this poison like we would have expected in our first playthrough right. with the, the lower awesome. difficulty. Activity in the parking lot. Looks like they're wrapping up. Heavy guard on that laptop. That's it. They have no right to take anyone against their will. All right. Enemies deal minus one damage during the breach. Last unit gets does plus three damage. Last unit the ancients gets plus one armor for the encounter. We want to. I want to split. Oh, I already used that. Interesting. I've never seen two yet. I don't think. Well, it's been a while since I've seen two, but we'll bring Blue Blood in last through this door to seal the deal. All the enemies are doing, uh, we don't want her to be first, right? You have a Medi Patch, so we'll put Torque in first. Then you're gonna use your Medi Patch this time. I should buy another Hollow Scanner in case we have to do that. Oh, we do have one. Oh, I put her on Hollow Scan anyways. Hollow Scan. Oh, your scan, and you have the Medi Patch. Oh, I would have used that scan last time if I knew we had two of them. We have enough scans, I think, to when well, I think we have enough scans to scan a whole three part encounter. This is very great camera angles. The back of that door was really interesting. Oh, we got a lot of stuff in here. Could spit on you, but that won't kill. We're trying to take you two out since you're going to shoot at us right now. All right, well, we got one. Didn't have to worry about that too much. I didn't send blue blood in last like I planned to. Uh, take this shot because we can take them. I would not take damage at all. And then we'll take whatever 100% chance we get. Add, die. The legionnaire can die. Adders and legionnaires. Anything else in here? We have a Praetorian, which I did just talk about. So that's pretty funny. The Praetorian is here. Or we could death. No, there's no point of sending him last to not take a shot. 
I need to get those upgraded subs. I need to upgrade the rest of the weapons, actually. Let's say it like that. That's the evidence. Don't let them wipe that data. Who's going second? We can pull them and take them out of the turn order, or we can just try and shoot them. We're going for the number two guy. We can use tongue pull. I'm the number two guy. I'm, yeah, I think I'm just going to bind him and take him out of this turn. Bind. Don't struggle. Yeah. Her her bind is pretty powerful. I probably should have took one of the people who are actually going to go for what we have. Who's even a mind control? I didn't know there was a... This is a terrible... There we go. Keeps putting me in like the back of doors and walls and stuff. He's dead eye on. First number is 96. We could take the Praetorian out right now if we hit. Oops. A little too confident in myself. Uh, we could subdue it though and take it out. And it is one of the people going for that uh, man shot. No, it's going to destroy our cover. Yeah, we didn't take that out. Just so we don't got to deal with him trying to duel somebody and holding them. And then the armor too. You okay. know. I think it's that Adder's turn next though. No, it's team. that one. It's just an expression. Uh, we got to take out the number seven dude before, before Torque has her next turn also. So we could put them in the stasis field. I don't use this ability enough to just take somebody out, but this way they won't be able to mind control anybody. It should take Torque out of that. Okay. Let me use team up on Torque. And I want to shoot at this enemy that's going to go for That's when I go for the actual uh, objective, keep that thing safe so we don't have to worry about them just jumping over there. We could just knock them out now. I could go for the number three dude and wait. Why is it doing this? The game's a little glitchy right now. Anyways, can I tongue pull the number three dude? No. I know tongue pull doesn't take an action, does it? I don't know. But I'm just gonna go ahead and I should spread out more actually. Where can you move to? I guess I'll use subdue from here. We're kinda all stuck behind this car. No one's really taking a shot at us, so it hasn't been an issue yet. But if something did and they hit that car and it blows up, it's gonna do a lot of damage to the team overall. Oh, you still have a I'm confused. I gotta look at her abilities again or something because I just confused myself. I use subdue, which usually ends the turn, right? Unconscious until a casualty at the end of each mission. Torque melee. Uh, if the target would be killed, they would be rendered. I don't know. Oh well. I think this bind is gonna kill them instantly. Yep. But I don't think bind kills anymore, does it? Don't hit. Oh, that's gonna blow up the cover? Yeah, that's gonna kill Patchwork, I think. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. I don't think I have any more med kits either. Can definitely move you away. Take a shot on number six. It's already at the end of the turn order, so we won't be pushing raised. We won't be pushing them back anything at all. And then I don't think they come out. They come out on terminals. Our patchworks next time. I think I've been calling it terminal. Boom. No, you can't say boom and miss. Anyways, we're going to right here, and this will put him into Overwatch. Feel the fire cover. She's poisoned. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Okay, cool. If that thing blew up. We would have had some real issues. She definitely would have died if it blew up. We 
use chaining jolt now we won't take either of them out but we will do a decent amount of damage to both of them now we can move terminal over to here oh who can we tongue pull from here can we get that enemy 93 percent chance to pull them I'll say I got you and they miss. Oh, that's tragic. I forgot about that. Even if we force them to move, like physically move like that, um, they still uh, activate Overwatch issues. Forgot all about that. I don't remember where I found that out. Completely forgot. Yeah, good thing we got everyone away from that because that would have took us out. And we'll use Soul Fire to get the kill. Give you something to think about. It's like if I had uh if in that line Blue Blood was there and if Zephyr was there with the ability to let her uh take a kick at people who move by her, all of that would have um activated. So she would have kicked them as they went by, he would have shot as they went by. Anything that can be activated like that, like by someone moving, is also activated if we force them basically. Are you ready for some old world nonsense? Next Thursday is our second annual Boots and Cats Night. Humans prepare to gyrate your extremities as though you have no actual concern. Extraterrestrials come to see what humans once considered music. Addendum. After last year's incident, management insists that you do not bring cats to Boots and Cats Night from Viper's Nest poster. Nice work. City 31's alien population is safe from Gray Phoenix abduction. I still don't think they're in actual danger. We have no scars from that one, so that's pretty good. You people hear this bonded stare crap? Whoever's behind it knows their way around Advent propaganda. They say, don't talk, don't think, but let me tell you how the world is. That's your first clue. The voice on the radio is never your friend. I'm gonna go ahead and get these enhanced machine guns. I think it's our most prevalent weapon. Uh, and then we'll get. A short time ago, Gray Phoenix forced their way into the city starport. If they managed to launch a starship, they could cause all kinds of destruction. Oh, we're already at this point. Would have thought this took a little longer to get to. We're already at 22 minutes though for this episode, so I'm gonna leave that for the next one. And we got an outbreak too. I'll use Dragnet over here. Damn. City Council asked me to contact you directly about a sensitive matter. The simple fact is that 3-1 PD is unequipped to deal with certain emergency situations. We've hired mercenaries in the past, but the results have been adequate at best. Mayor Nightingale assured us you were here to protect City 31 from harm. So prove it. I want you on call for emergencies that require your unique skill set. The City Council will be watching. You will appear to request a hand to help contain an outbreak in this district. Get there fast and contain the threat. I'll update you as you as more information comes in. If this is one encounter, then I can do it. Our only problem. Advent left many dormant threats in its wake. If the city faces an outbreak, it's our responsibility to protect civilians from this threat. Go ahead and buy that now. Can I use Dragnet? No. Whereas one or more field teams at rank three. So I need to work towards that. But this is only one encounter, so I'll go ahead and do this real quick. I don't think I got anything new to actually apply to the team. Yeah, nothing new here. So I'll go ahead and launch it. It shouldn't take too long to complete since it's only one encounter, and that'll be the end of the video. It'd be cool if they pulled up, opened up, and they jumped out at the same time. I think it's going to line us up on the side of this, and we're just going in order. All units entering, so it doesn't matter. Um, Since shelter first, so we can dazzle everybody. And she can spit on someone. You can use this one shot, and then she's going to scan. We're heading in. We use Dazzle here. We use Dazzle on the Bruiser to make sure they're actually affected. This should get a good range of people. Yeah, at least six, I think. Two, four, six. Yeah, six of them. 
you can spit on someone. I'm gonna spit on someone who has a little more health, though. Yeah, like a berserker or something. So they're poison for a little. Oh, we got two berserkers in here. So yeah, this is definitely an outbreak event. Land shot, 68% chance to crit also. Only 35 there. But if we do crit, we'll kill, I believe. Is 35 good enough to risk it when we have a guaranteed kill? I think so. Nope. Oh, never mind. We could either we leveled one no matter who we shoot at, and we have a higher chance here, so I'll go for this shot. I don't think she ever gets anything that can happen during the breach. She has like the uh breach end thing, but not like special shot or little ability that increases stuff at all. We already have one saved. Prevent extensive civ civilian cap civilian civilian casualties all right relocate um who's the number two guy who's number three to use soul fire and fire on number three or it can relocate with number three That'll push him down in the turn order to be after Torque. Interesting how it placed me over there first. Get to cover right here and save the civilian. You're good to go. Move out. I gave him the extra padding too, didn't I? I believe I did. Can't remember if it what it gives plus one health or armor. Good thing I can't remember. Ooh, good thing you missed. It looks like no, they're not safe now. Will this end my turn? Torque spits at a blast of the poison explodes a deadly pool, poisoning all units in the area and does a small amount of damage on impact. I'm gonna go ahead and save them first before I do that. I should still have a decent angle right over that uh barrier. Do you wanna die? Then stay here. Hilarious. That's like her own kind, kind of, isn't it? I don't know where these snake people came from. I don't remember them at all. You're dead. Encouraging. Did you stop that? Um Do you need some help? What are they finna do? I think they're gonna shoot the civilian, aren't they? Who are you mind controlling? Blue blood? Okay, that's fine. I can deal with you doing torque because I think I've been calling her terminal this whole time. I can deal with torque because because she's gonna be um. Ooh, shit. Why is this one going so soon again? Because I can get her out of that before her next turn, so I don't have to worry about her dealing damage to the team. Two damage increase. Wow. Wow, that's solid. It's gonna shoot you again, dog. Oh, that one's not going again. That's just a different one that we poisoned. We have three berserkers in here. And he got plus two damage because he just took some there. I kind of hope that he went for a civilian instead of my own team right there. We put him in a Stacy's field, even though he's down. No, no, we can't. All right. Uh, well, I want to use subdue on this thing right next to me. I'll do it from this side though, so I can get a little closer to where I need to go. They're probably gonna step over here and just take a clean shot on us right now, though. That or they're gonna um move to deal damage to a teammate. Why am I getting a move with? Torque. Not complaining. Maybe because she just got out the mind control, I guess. I'm gonna dash her up here and try and get her a little closer to be able to recover. That's weird. I don't think it was supposed to do that. My game's definitely glitching a little bit right now. I felt that one. He's bleeding out. I need to get over there to help him.
if I run up to stabilize, I'm gonna get hit by the number two dude. So use team up on shelter. Yeah, shelter. Damn, I can't see shelter from here though. Oh, shelter's the one who's down, of course. So use team up on Patrick since he's the only one available. Gonna go to stabilize uh, shelter so he doesn't die or anything. I don't have any grenades too, which is another issue that I'm trying to deal with. Should probably buy some of those uh, sooner. We'll move up to here. We'll still have cover. I should probably free blee blee blah, blue blood instead though, because his turn's coming up next. Whittle him down. They say whittle him down. This four damage is pretty consistent, so it's actually not a problem. Oh. Damn. Okay, we have three more that they can kit. Well, hang on. They literally we can't lose, not unless those berserkers run all the way over there. I could stay here and start with Deadeye and then use the land shot. The phase lance to do that. Which I might do, because it doesn't matter if I'm in cover or not from that other berserker. Since hello? Oh, I used to do. I didn't use I meant to use dead eye. Is she not allowed to tongue pull these dudes? Anyways, I meant to use dead eye to shoot it and not use subdue to kill or to knock it out. I'm gonna say you better hit with this thing point blank. But you in a stasis field actually. That way we can get to some to some better positions for it. can't save them from here I can't really get to anyone from here that needs to be saved but I don't think I have to just put them in that automatic overwatch because it won't matter either way spit acid all around them Go on. and we'll see if this ends the work. turn now too I don't think it does should have hit yeah okay overwatch this and we should have almost done oh that's not the best well you know it's 80 percent. so there's pretty good chances actually i was going to complain about an 80 increased damage but hopefully between the poison and all the overwatch on it which should die as long as the people don't miss and i Oh, okay, cool. Didn't even matter. I put everyone in Overwatch for no reason. And that didn't take too long. I never read the little thing on the top left when we finish these missions. I just forget to put do it and then hit continue before I get a chance to even notice it. If the stack source to the 31 is beating industry hard, then switch out is its circulatory system. Repurposed occupation air trains deliver essential goods to the entire region from the dish from this district, which strives to be a good neighbor. City 31 Tourist Council, a source of vitality for many but not all terrestrial and extraterrestrial species. Oh, I, I read that in a weird way. So you did pick up a scar. Yeah, special 
spec ops is idle still we need to get another agent or something because then i want to start doing spec ops earlier because it definitely helps out and i usually wait too long to start it well not wait too long but i wait till it can be doing more for me earn with knockout and operation tyrannical god tyrannical god i need to start reading what these operation names are too there's a lot of stuff that i've just been skipping over we could have could put a freeze on that district if we wanted to but i don't need to worry about that right now that targeting system would be nice to grab too i don't know because we should just go ahead and bring them down now we have credits we should be buying stuff too what's what are we working on enhanced submachine guns and what can we buy well there's no point in buying stuff now because when i come back it's just going to be not bought i'm not doing a bunch of videos now i just want to record this one so thanks for watching uh don't forget to follow all my other socials and all the other stuff that i do in the description down below and i'll see you all next time bye